Hello everyone, this is Mr. Dice again, your business teacher and business consultant, and today we're going to be discussing about motivational theories. And perhaps with today's lesson, we're going to understand why the American entrepreneurial culture is uh, so, so ahead of the game. Uh, it's because they, they, in the past, and even now, they had these brilliant minds that actually um, brought an immense contribution to the uh, business, management, leadership culture, and made, uh, made, made uh, this theory of the American dream possible. And the one that I want to discuss today is a, a, the theory of Taylor. This is widely known as the economic man theory. How does this address the issue of motivation and provide solutions to the current level of motivation that our employees have? In order to answer this question, we'll have to have a bit of a history uh, lesson. So, uh, Frederick Winslow Taylor was a mechanical engineer Now get this, somewhere, let's say in 1890, and he actually became one of the first management consultants. He was one of the first management Consultants, and he was actually obsessed about reducing inefficiency. So he was obsessed about this idea of reducing inefficiency in the U.S. manufacturing industry. So, as a result of this, uh, even back in those days, he managed to come up with a concept that is known as a scientific approach. Scientific approach towards management. Okay. Before I explain this concept, I think we'll go back a bit to discuss what does he mean about the economic man. So, according to him, and according to this theory over here, Taylor said very simply, uh, in very basic terms, that the only thing that will motivate Plus, will drive someone to do something, to perform well, to work harder, to get better result, is money and money and money. And it could also be the case of, you know, the thought. Or ability that you could earn more. So if you combine money with the thought or with this ability or possibility that you can earn more, this is what it's going to drive and this is what it's going to motivate employees. This was his breakthrough vision uh, to say so. And of course, if the employee makes more money if he will be much more productive 
uh, there are high chances that the owner of that business will make more money because they will be able to sell more items or more product. So let's now return to the scientific management approach. This involves keywords such as supervising, any change that you have done in the work method, okay, and see how it would impact productivity. So let's see how he has done this or what steps he has taken in, let's say, uh, one of the car manufacturing um, businesses that he has um, approached with this concept. So what he would do for first, he would select workers. So he would select workers to do a task. Okay? Now, while they were doing this task, he would observe and record how the tasks are done. Yeah? And how people actually solve them. Then what he would do he would try to identify the best or quickest way to solve that task. Okay? And then, after he has identified this, he said, well, we got to train all workers according to this best method of solving a task. This is how he would name the most efficient, most efficient way of solving. So train them on the best method. Make sure that everybody knows it very well and can implement it. Then he would go a step further and make sure that people are supervised and check. Yeah. So supervise and check in how they implement and follow the best method. Okay? And then he would actually decide to pay each worker according to the tasks solved or output or results and if you pay careful attention to this and taking consideration the uh, time frame he was uh, he was in you would see that this number six over here it, it actually points out that he was what well, perhaps the founding father or one of the founding fathers of what we know today as peace rate financial way of motivating employees. Now, the beauty of this in uh, Taylor's eyes was that because we apply this system and because man, in his opinion, is driven only by money and earning more money, 
this will increase productivity and as a result it will be a win-win equation because the worker will make more money and the owner would make more money. I know this is a very old theory but it's very uh, deeply rooted in uh, even in nowadays to say so uh, and before we discuss about any other further uh, ingredients that we need to take in consideration to make sure that our staff is motivated uh, taking cons consideration the present times that we live in at the root we have to understand that people work for money and it's very important that that sum of money they receive in return for their blood, sweat, effort, determination is actually making them feel um, secure, uh, appreciated, and allows them to have a certain lifestyle as a result of all their effort. Thank you very much for watching this video and don't forget if you have any business queries just drop me a line and I'll help you pull it through.